Good morning, St. Pius. Today is Thursday, December 14th, 2023. We're celebrating one birthday today in fourth grade. Happy birthday to Carolyn Elbert. High today of 39 degrees, another chilly day. Hot lunch, we've got cheeseburger or hummus box, after school clubs, youth choir. I know you guys are getting ready for the big Christmas Eve mass, math games in first grade, intramurals with Coach Hamlin and Mrs. Riley's Christmas craft. And I saw yesterday they were working on these snowmen. It looked awesome. So uh, I know that's going to be a lot of fun. Tonight begins the Christmas concert season. Yes, at St. Pius, we have a Christmas concert season, uh, grades two through four. Uh, looking forward to seeing you guys uh, performing tonight. Uh, tomorrow is a dress down day or dress down for the cause. Uh, we're celebrating the, we're raising money for the Ferrano house. Uh, and we're going to wear Father Ferrano's favorite color, also very festive, red. All right. So red dress down day tomorrow. Bulldog goal. I kind of talked about this a little bit yesterday. Um, our bulldog goal is Seven more days strong, right? Of course, I mean, there are seven, really six and a half more school days left until Christmas break. We're all excited for Christmas, right? But remember, we got seven days left, okay? Uh, we got uh, we lots to learn in the classrooms, okay? Let's make sure we are on our best behavior in the classroom, in the hallways, outside at recess. It's a fun time. We're all excited, right? But let's make sure um, that we're making the best choices that we can today and for the next seven days. Santa is watching. Also tomorrow, our school Christmas market. Um, I should say pre-K, you guys will get your chance after school today. K through eight, you guys will be uh, tomorrow uh, during lunch and recess times. You can see here, we've got lots of um, you know, really cool gifts for maybe uh, your siblings or parents or grandparents, right? Um, so that will be tomorrow uh, for K to eight, after school today for pre-K. Oh, hey, this guy. Uh, so uh, one of our fundraisers in the fall was uh, the Charleston Wrap. All right. So uh, yesterday, Mrs. Rich drew uh, the winner of this guy right here. I don't know what his name is, uh, but he looks pretty cool. So congratulations. First off, thank you to everyone who sold wrapping paper. But the winner, only one person, only one lucky guy or girl can win this stuffed animal. Uh, so congratulations in Mrs. Flashover's class. One, two, Gavin Mahaney. All right, so this is going home to you, uh, Gav, today. Enjoy. The prophet Isaiah prophesied a kind of paradise where even predators are at peace with their prey, where the most vulnerable children become the leader. This is the holy mountain of the Lord, a place of profound peace. It is what we all await for. St. John of the Cross, whose feast day we celebrate today, was a Carmelite who followed the teachings of Teresa of Avila and sought to reform the church. In doing so, he was persecuted and imprisoned, experiencing acute depression and loneliness, what he called the dark night of the soul. Yet through it all, he hoped in the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy, on, on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord, and the waters cover the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Think about this today. How can you make peace today? In the reading from Isaiah, we hear about a very peaceful scene. How can you be peacemakers in your classroom today? How can you get along with others? And how can you help others get along with each other? How can you be a peacemaker? And as we think about that, let us stand in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ho, 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 Santa are here, as always, looking for some good boys and girls, maybe some peacemakers, right? Someone who's always making peace, helping others. All right, in fourth grade, congratulations to, I think she's a peacemaker, Sadie Sessler. Congratulations, Sadie. Uh, who's that, Mrs. Milano? I think I'm coming your way this morning. Ho, ho, ho. Have a great day, everyone.